Hey guys, this is Brian Mounts over on TurfMechanic.com. Today I want to talk to you about sea kelp, seaweed, all of the seaweed, all the sea-based fertilizers that we put on the lawn. Lots of times you see information stuck on the side of a label saying it, in it includes sea kelp or seaweed extracts. Do you even know what that means? Obviously a lot of these manufacturers put on there that it's helpful and beneficial for the plant, but do you really know what it does? Let's talk about it. All right, as you see here, I got a few products. There's tons of products that include seaweed or some form of sea kelp ex extract in it. Before we really dive any further into this topic, we need to define a couple things. First of all, sea kelp, kelp is basically a generic term. It's like saying a plant. Well, what kind of plant? Um, kelp is talking about what kind of seaweed. There's lots of different kinds of seaweeds out there. So when you're talking about all of the various forms of seaweeds, you might refer to it as kelp as a generic term. So sea kelp could be any kind of a seaweed. It's also important to understand that seaweed or kelp is not actually a plant, it's an algae. There are lots of different kinds of algae. So this particular kind of algae uses photosynthesis because it lives in shallow waters. Of course, as we all know, it reaches up into the sky uh, or into the, uh, the shallower waters to get sunlight and to photosynthesize and to generate energy. Seaweeds don't really have a traditional root system. They don't have really like stems or branches. It's just kind of a stemmy looking algae formation. It's just reaching towards the light. Now, most plant systems have uh, growth hormones kind of in them, but in smaller quantities. Seaweed in particular, because of the way that it grows, it grows lots of different forms of seaweed, grow very quickly. And because of that, these seaweed varieties have lots of growth hormones in them. There are three particular growth hormones inside of seaweed that we use uh, in fertilizers, you know, in the lawns and ornamental gardens. Some of these products aren't really designed to go into vegetable, vegetable gardens, but I'm sure there's some people out there that use them there anyway. The hormones found in seaweed extract are the auxins IAA and IBA. We're talking about indole 3 acetic acid is IAA or indole 3 butyric acid IBA. Now both of these um, acids are essentially the same thing though uh, the IBA is kind of like uh, it's kind of like the pantry. There is more IBA found in seaweed extracts than IAA, but the IAA is kind of the active auxin and it helps promote, it helps uh, with shoot growth in plants. Uh, in terms of uh, the algae itself, it helps with the growth, growth mechanism. When we apply it to lawns and, um, and flowers and bushes and shrubs and um, whatever we apply it to, it helps with the growth. Now the other two hormones are the ones that we actually really care about in terms of the lawn, or at least it's the ones that I focus on the most. You've got gibberellic acid and you've got cytokinins. Gibberellic acid has been shown to help with uh, leaf growth, with the foliar growth of plants, and the cytokinins are more adept at pushing root growth in plants in general. So generally speaking, if we want to push top growth, we want something with gibberellic acid in it. And if we want root growth, then we want something more with cytokinins in it. The fact of the matter is when you purchase a product of any kind, you don't always know what kind of kelp is used and you don't know what hormones precisely are in the product. These things aren't really labeled. Just because a product says it contains sea kelp or seaweed extract doesn't mean it's even coming from the best variety of seaweed for fertilization. Here in my yard, I'm most concerned with the root system of my grass. I don't necessarily want excessive top growth. I tend to keep my grass cut pretty short, about as short as my rotary mower will let me, and I still cut the thing every like two to three days. But if I wanna go away for a week on vacation, I don't wanna to have to worry about the lawn growing way too much. For me, I would much rather have a deep and substantial root system in my lawn. So anything that pushes excess top growth, for instance, gibberellic acid, one of those plant growth hormones found in many seaweeds and many kelp extracts, 
that's a product that I, if I had the option, I would want less of that. I would definitely want more cytokinin. That's a product or that's a, uh, that's the hormone that will go into the root system of the plant and develop the underground system of my grass plants. That's what I care about. And honestly, if my grass plants are healthy from the bottom up, then they are more able to resist all of the stresses of just everyday life. Poor irrigation, poor watering, um, disease, uh, trampoline by foot traffic and animals. Whatever the stress is, a healthy root system is going to create a healthier plant. You're not gonna have to baby the plant as much with chemicals, fungicides, and uh, over fertilization. Now, generally speaking, of all of the various seaweeds out there the best one to produce lawn fertilizers or biostimulants for the lawn is the seaweed laminaria lamp lamp laminaria i can't remember how to i can't remember it's basically a giant brown algae it's grown in the cold or it's not grown it grows in the cold waters kind of north uh Frequently, it's, I don't know, it's like, uh, it's along the east coast of the United States and like the kind of the north, the northern west coast of Europe and various other places around. But point being, it's a giant brown algae. It's a seaweed. The reason that it's the best one is because it tends to have the most amount of cytokinins and uh, general growth hormones all together. For me, it's particularly great because of the cytokinins. The cytokinins is what pushes root growth, root development. Oh, I gotta move my legs and knees. I do too much of this in my YouTube videos. So basically, when we're fertilizing the lawn, just like we can like cherry pick which fertilizers to put on the lawn, let's say we really want to push nitrogen, you can get nitrogen only fertilizers. You can get potassium only fertilizers. Starter fertilizers are super heavy in phosphorus. We can cherry pick what we want to put on the lawn. It would be awesome if we could cherry pick the growth hormones, the cytokinins in particular to go into the lawn because the cytokinins are the things that are going to push the root growth. Some of the other hormones in these, uh, in these sea kelp extracts are great and all, but that's not what I'm looking for. Now, if you've gotten into lawn care to any extent at all, then you know that there are a couple pretty popular products out there that are billed as root stimulants. Um, I've got a couple of them right here. I got Next RGS, Root Growth Stimulant. I've got um, Simple Aerations. This is actually my favorite aeration product because it contains um, sea kelp in it. Uh, it also contains the humic acids and the potassiums and all that. But, um, but it's the kelp that puts this one over the top in terms of the aeration products. The thing is, most products, these are not the ones that I'm talking about here, most products don't actually say, or I should say many, I don't know if most is the right word, I don't know if that's fair. Many products out there just say sea kelp extract. They don't tell you where it comes from. The thing is, RGS and this one in particular actually say their source material. According to the label here on RGS, it says 3% sea kelp extract derived from Ascophilum nod nodosum. And it says the exact same thing here. Probably butchered that pronunciation. Both of them are derived from the exact same thing, which is the really fancy brown algae that I talked about before, the one that is heaviest in cytokinins. So these products do contain a pretty good amount of cytokinins because they're coming from the best source possible. But you don't know about other products if it doesn't say what the source material is. Now, another thing to think about is this particular source material contains all of these plant hormones. And so if you're putting these things down on the ground, you're gonna be getting the full range, the full spectrum of, um, of uh, growth hormones that are contained in the sea kelp or the seaweed extracts. What I want, ideally, is to only get the cytokinins. And that's why I picked up this product. This product is fancy. Uh, this is called Cytogrow. It is literally the same stuff is derived from the same source, except for it is literally formulated. It's produced to give you the most amount of cytokinins and the least amount of gib gibberellic acids in it. Again, maybe I'm pronouncing that wrong, but gibberellic acids, again, are the ones that push the top growth. That's not, that's not what I want. I want root development. 
That's why this product is fancy for me. And that's why this is one of, one of the Ninja tips that I share in my root development course, which I have on my website. If you are interested in more root development ideas, strategies, like uh, the stealth ideas, uh, then I'll have a link to it down in the description below. This is a fancy product. It's not for everybody. These things are great and they're gonna work for the vast majority of people out there. Um, but then there are other products out there as well. Many other manufacturers make products that have sea kelp in it. Make sure to check labels to see the source. Now, the whole point of this video is I want you to understand what sea kelp extract is, what seaweed fertilizers are, how these products are actually different. Just because one says sea kelp and the other says seaweed doesn't mean they're exactly the same thing. I want you to understand those differences. Even though sea kelp is a generic term and it doesn't say anything about the source material, it is still a very good product. Even like, I don't know, even the worst source material is still probably better than putting nothing down at all. And most likely because of the source material that is going to affect pricing, um, the pricing differences between various products and the effect that one product has over another. Like one kelp product might actually perform better than another one. You might see that in reviews or just general commentary between friends that take care of their lungs. One person might be putting down a kelp product and be seeing better results than another person. It could be the source material. Anyway, if you have any questions about sea kelp extract, uh, seaweed fertilizers, um, cytokinins, any of these like growth hormones that are found in root growth stimulants that contain kelp, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer those questions as accurately and quickly as possible. I am not a biologist, but I am a turf mechanic. So I care a lot about all of this detail, all of this data, all the, all the nitty gritty. Um, and I like turning the little dials just ever so slightly in my favor. Um, I hope you found some value in this video. I hope you learned something new. Hit the like button if you did. And I really hope to see you in the next video.